what is going on guys today we got something very interesting here this is the tang tang model kit it's this cute little kind of sd girl kind of kit kind of reminds me of like the desktop army series except that it's a model kit that you build by yourself anyway so this is from journey to the west apparently i don't know if it, that's some kind of source material if it's some um, manga or something as far as i know this is just like a completely made up character and the whole journey to the west title is uh, just something made up around, I guess, this series, where there's gonna be maybe a series of these. I would assume this is probably not a one-off, uh, but just the first in a series of them. I don't know, I, I think that would be pretty cool because it's a really interesting design. I quite like the design and it's pretty cool looking, so if they started making more of these, I think that, that could be pretty cool. Anyway, so let's go ahead and check it out, see what it's like. All right, so right here on the front of the box, so just, it's a really cool character design. It's kind of mixing elements of like uh, all the kind of robot sort of elements and also some like fantasy elements in there so it's a nice kind of mix of, of different things going on there down here we got some text that says a traveler with a bookcase on her back very interesting uh, she was once a member of the Lingshan testing Institute and her name was Jin Chanzi it's kind of a hard font to read you guys sorry about that during this journey she often gets into trouble because of her appearance and origin however why has she become a dirty traveler with such an amazing appearance so the marvelous story begins. Hmm, kind of an interesting bio there. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but anyway, it's a cool character design. Here on the ends of the box, you got just kind of the same thing. Down here, let's look at this side first, I guess. On the bottom there, you can see what the kit is gonna look like. And as far as I can tell, this kind of looks like this is just the kit straight out the box, maybe with a little bit of panel lining on there, but that looks like just the bare plastic there unpainted. And then here is, I guess, how it's going to look in the dark, I guess, for some reason. So they're just showing the light on that, I guess, maybe because the uh, clear green parts, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, what's going on with that? Ah, I think the clear green parts are glow in the dark. That's what the, that's what that's highlighting there. All right. Anyway, that's cool. On the other side, there's just another uh, pose of her just standing there. And then you can have her, like, without all that equipment there, just kind of the less armored form. Still has, like, the robot legs there. Uh, without this kind of like uh, robotic kind of cloak thing over her body. So uh, it's kind of interesting and it looks like we're I think we're just only gonna have the one face option unfortunately so maybe in uh, future kits in this line we'll maybe hopefully get to see some of these coming with uh, more face options. But anyway let's go ahead and get it cracked open. And it's a relatively small box as you guys can see it's not that big it's about the size of a high grade box. Uh, it's kind of thick but the size also is like a little bit smaller. So we've got our instructions right there on the top we'll take a look at those just a second gonna quickly uh, briefly glance through the parts and there's a bunch of different colors there there's our green which we'll have to test if that's actually glow in the dark or not it looks like just regular green plastic but uh, we'll try that out so here is the instructions right there on the top is that same information we have the same illustration here just the logo there on the back some QR codes for scanning that for some more info we got some stuff here on the inside of the manual all in Chinese here unfortunately or Japanese actually sorry that's uh yeah Japanese as far as I know this is a Chinese product but I guess it's just being uh, made here to appeal to the Japanese audience that makes sense uh, I can see how that would be true and it looks like it's gonna be approximately nine centimeters tall there so you know not too necessarily large 10 centimeters tall with the hat on and everything and then there it is uh, with that all made up you can change the form of that with the blade uh, extended or not there for the staff I guess on the next page we got some more images here, in, uh, here showing some more about uh, the backpack it looks like so the arms can kind of fold up to be like that or you can fold them out to be these arms and I'm guessing those hands can actually hold something in the hands I'm hoping so in all the images it looks like they're just kind of closed fists unfortunately but hopefully we have some holding hand options in there so you could give it some different hand option uh, like a handheld weapons or something that would be ideal here's our parts list here on this page and then it's just on through the construction so there's all of that Let's see if there's anything too much else to see here in the manual aside from that just here in the back showing uh, how to do the knapsack deformation there as it says, I think mean, like transformation, but anyway, uh, of the knapsack and that's it. So let's go ahead and check out the runners. All right, so we've got no stickers or any decal markings or anything like that and also no polycaps of any kind. So we'll skip right to runner A here, which is all in white. And then there's our green, I guess, possibly glow in the dark parts. We'll test that out here in just a second. Runner B gonna be a bunch of our joint parts and stuff in this uh, kind of brownish tan light gray color. Runner C is going to be our face part there. You can see it's our pre-printed face. It looks pretty nice on there and also some skin tone parts for just basically the hands for the most part there. And then some yellow parts. And the yellow is 
is in that kind of really um, not so great looking yellow, but I think for this kit, it should probably look okay, but we'll see how it actually looks on the kit. In order D, a full runner of more yellow parts. Now, the only reason why I'm a little bit concerned about this yellow is that uh, this particular yellow just tends to, if it's just like pure, straight up bright yellow like this, it just tends to look like very much like a toy and it doesn't really look that good usually, but yeah, I think I'm I'm hopeful. I think it'll probably look okay for this one. For run E here, we've got some parts in blue, including our pieces there for the hair, which looks like that's gonna be pretty simple, just a couple pieces there for that. And then off-white for this, is, on the A runner, we had actual white. This is a slightly cream off-white color. And then finally, runner F, we got some parts in dark purple, very much like uh, the Advanced Zeta uh, Wound War kit, for example, the HG Wound War kit, if you've ever built that, it's like the exact same color. And then over here, some red, and it's a really interesting kind of bright red color there as well too. So there you go, quite colorful. And we got uh, nine different colors on there, which is pretty impressive for just this you know, small, simple little kit. Now let's check if these are truly glow in the dark or not. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking nah. I think that's just regular green plastic, because. I'm not seeing anything. Anyway, it's all good. Let me just go ahead and get her all built up and then we'll see how she looks. All right guys, and here she is all built up. Very cool, I mean, I really like the design of this kit. We'll talk about some pros and cons, but overall, I just think it's a really cool, unique di design. Again, just mixing the sort of uh, mecha elements in there as well as just a sort of like fantasy element. And so I can see how that will definitely appeal to a lot of you guys. Uh, as far as like what she comes with though, basically everything you see there right now that's what you get with this kit. You do also have the set of holding hands for holding on to her kind of spear weapon, but very limited in terms of any accessories that you get with this. That said, what you do have there, you do have some cool stuff that you can do with that. So we'll take a look at all that in greater detail here. Let's go ahead and get started. So let me just first start off by saying a couple of criticisms that I have of this. Uh, number one is just the lack of accessories that I wish that came with some different face options, a couple of different hand options as well too, just like an open hand or something would have been nice as well too, at least to be included. And also maybe even some different hair parts because as it is this kind of crown part comes off very loosely as you can see it just kind of there's like this little indent there where this is sort of meant to just kind of barely hold on there and it clips on there and as long as you don't touch anything you don't shake the kit or anything like that it'll stay on there but it just comes off very easily so I just feel like they could have included another a hair piece for that for this to clip onto a little bit more securely so just having the one set of hair parts uh, that will sh that's kind of meant to fill both roles of wearing the headdress and not wearing the headdress it just kind of would have worked better if there was two sets and once I take some of this armor off and kind of show you the body you'll see just how like simple the construction of the body is uh, the body went together super quick and much more time goes into putting together like the backpack so I just wish that the construction of the body was a little bit more complex, a few more parts in there, and especially that would add to the articulation and just make the the building of the main body of the kit a little bit more enjoyable. But as it is, we'll just take a look at some of the articulation here, like this front kind of cloak part, this part moves, and these two lower parts move, and the same thing here on the back, even though it's kind of hidden up behind there. Got uh, parts of that will move on their own, but some pretty nice color separation. I will say overall, it's pretty good in terms of just getting little different color apps in here and there. It's pretty nice. The legs are just connected via ball joints, but there's not going to be a whole lot of room for them to move anywhere. You've got a knee joint there as well too, and then obviously like no foot or anything, so nothing really to do with that. But you've got like about a 90 degree bend there for the knee, and that'll be uh, the same. There's there's no taking off any armor or anything on the leg. Just that's the only leg that you have there. So that also would have been nice to have some option parts to make this into just kind of like a normal leg because you can remove these armor parts here around on the arms, which are pretty cool. It's kind of like a mechanical cloak. The whole thing is just like this kind of like mechanical cloak thing over her body, which is pretty cool. I like the look of that, but this arm will give you kind of not even 90 degrees bend there, but it will bend a little bit more once you have this part removed. Uh, and then that's also just connected via a ball joint there at the top as well too. So just some kind of simple movement there. The head is also just on a ball joint, so you can move that around. And also this necklace piece there is also just not really plugged into anything. It's just kind of floating in place. So it's kind of easy to get that moved into the wrong place. Just kind of give it a shake and that'll get kind of situate itself out there basically. But you can move it around the head on the ball joint there. That all works pretty well. But again, like once you're turning that, then the kind of crown part is crashing into the backpack so you kind of are limited a little bit as to how far you can turn that while you've got this part there on her head. And just for the ease of it, I'll just remove the backpack here to show you how that plugs onto there. Also the kind of spear part here, we'll just take a look at that. 
So you have this little clip that you can use to clip that onto the backpack there as you guys saw. And it's cool that each of these rings is like an actual separate little piece so you can see there's like a break in each ring where that will clip onto there. That kind of I guess takes away from the look of it being an actual like full ring but at least they're on there like all individually instead of like just one kind of part or something. And you can remove the effect part if you want to just have it like a sort of like as an inactive mode or something like that. Or you can just plug that onto there nice and easily. And while I don't think that's going to glow in the dark, I guess, uh, it does look very nice and that it's a pretty bright fluorescent green, especially on camera it looks like it's showing up even brighter than in person. So I mean it looks pretty cool, just very simple design. This uh, opens apart right there for this to fit down into your holding hands and then you just have that uh, in hand. So I'll show you guys that here in just a little bit. On the For the backpack here, you can change the main connection of the uh, entire backpack there. Also, you've got this little wheel down there at the bottom, which does turn. It is like a little working wheel, which will just kind of help to support the backpack when it's on the kiss, so that's nice. This top part will lift up like that, and this is really cool. This part here, when you turn that, it opens this whole part up. So again, let me just show you that. You turn, and that all opens up. You can kind of just do it without using this little part there, but that's a pretty cool aspect of that design. And also, this kind of like uh, face part also turns. It's kind of tricky to do. But you turn that around, flip it over to the other side for its angry face, like that, I guess, for this sort of like uh, activated mode and then turn that back around and close that up there for the sort of like inactivated mode or I guess uh, not angry mode. Anyway, these arm parts then will fold out here on the front and this one here on the back. Just kind of rotate that around carefully, I guess, like so. And these as well, I'll just take this off in order to show you guys, uh, are just also plugged on via just a kind of straight peg there. It would have been better if these were connected via a ball joint so that you could actually change the angle of them because as they are, you can only just have them just pointing straight ahead like that, which is kind of cool, but it would have been nice if they were on ball joints so you could actually get a little bit more movement out of those arms. Then you have your hands which are plugged on here to the back and one of them keeps falling off, but these are actually pretty nicely articulated here in that you've got uh, a couple of joints and some movement here between the hands. So these should be able to possibly maybe hold something as long as the handle is pretty small, uh, but you might be able to get, well at least it should be able to hold the weapon here. So you can at least have it holding on to that, for example, but you could try other stuff as well too. And then that's just got a hinge and a ball joint there where that connects. You plug that around into the arm there in the front. And then your other set of arms down here is also a little bit more articulated. That folds out, so you can see you got this articulated arm there for these, and so you got much better movement with these arms down here and another set of hands attached onto there as well too, and they just work the same, they're exactly the same as the ones up top, so it's cool you got this uh, four sets of hands out there of the backpack, which does make for a pretty cool transformation of that. I just wish that the upper arms had a little bit better articulation. But again, overall, I mean, you got some nice detail on there with these vent parts, even up on top of this white part, some nice detail there, so you can see how like painting this up uh, would look really sharp. The plug and kit back onto there you go you guys can see and I'll show you some different poses here in a bit but it's a pretty cool effect I think it looks really nice now let me show you how this looks without the extra armor on there and also just real quick for a size comparison here she is compared with your standard arc 7 h 2 144 scale HG Gundam kit and also a Bandai Petitris kit which are going to be kind of similar and I'm also just wondering exactly how or if the heads are interchangeable but I don't think so I think the ball joint size will not match unfortunately yeah, the ball joint, not the right size, So, but with some modification here, it's just an idea of maybe how a Petitrit's head would look on that. It's a little bit larger, slightly, but you know, you guys get the idea. All right, so here she is without armor, and yeah, as you can see, like I said, I mean, it's pretty simple, a little bit underwhelming in this form, to be honest, so nothing really all that special. I think you're better off just keeping all the armor and everything on there, but I mean, it's nice to have the option, of course. You can still attach the backpack onto her like this if you did want to, you know, prefer this form without the cloak on there, but you just did still want to use the backpack. So you can still do that. And the other benefit to keeping the backpack on this kit is just to help it stand up because otherwise on just the main body, there's nowhere to plug this onto an action base. And even on the backpack as well too, there's no action base uh, connection point or anything like that. So of course you can solve that pretty easily with just a three millimeter drill to just put a hole anywhere where you might want to attach this onto a base. But um, as it is, it just stands on its own and that's all you can really do with it. And while the, the main body can stand on its own, 
it's a little bit tricky to get it to do it. So having that kind of third leg there, the wheel support at the back of the backpack certainly helps to keep this standing. So that you're gonna find that very useful for doing any sort of posing with this kit. But overall, like I said, very interesting kit. Uh, there's certain things that I think they could improve on for future releases, more stuff that I would like to see, basically just kind of like more options and things included with that. Um, a little bit um, more parts, a little bit different parts to improve on some of the articulation, just to make it so that there's a little bit wider range of different posing options, things that you can do with this as well too. But overall, I think it's a pretty cool idea. I like the uh, the whole idea of having these kits, which are very simple kits. I, they really remind me a lot of the Petit Tritz kits. Obviously, a l more complex than that. Those kits are super simple, but just like the main body at least. Um, I don't know, just the whole design of them I mean, in terms of like the somewhat SD kind of proportions reminds me of the Petit Tritz kits there from Bandai. Anyway, like I said, it's a cool design, so I hope they'll end up making some more, kind of similar in this kind of vein, but hopefully maybe make a few improvements, uh, adding a few things. But uh, overall, I think it's worth checking out if you guys are also fans of the design. It's gonna be a really fun kit to paint up, I think, once you get this painted up with some nice, you know, bright, vibrant colors and everything. I mean, as it is, it's kind of straight out of the box, but you could get even brighter uh, with this and then adding some decals and things like that. I think it's gonna look very cool, so. Something that I think you could have a lot of fun with. Anyway, let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. And if, if you're interested, of course, you guys can check out this kit. We are going to have it there at USA Gundam Store. So the link and the coupon code for you guys to use. Don't forget to use that. That will be all down in the video description below for you guys. And also, thanks so much for your support. Whether it be liking the video, commenting, subscribing, all of that's greatly appreciated as well too. So until next time, guys, thank you so much. Hope you're having a great day. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.